Hi everyone and welcome to today's video for Say The Crafty YouTuber Video Hop. It's a celebration of card making video tutorials created by a group of talented crafters of all different styles and levels. We are coming together to give you, our viewers, a chance to discover amazing card makers and help reach monetization goals. So today my video is sponsored by Wow Embossing Powder um, and they're going to be, I'll be giving away a $20 gift card but they'll also be giving a $20 gift card as part of the youtubers um, video hops as well so that was a quick look at my card just then and we're going to be using this wow trios set that had some beautiful ultra high colors whites silvers in there so I'm going to be using this MFT butterflies I'm just going to be using the actual die and I'm going to stamp with um, this new um, Wow Embossing Powder cardstock. So here's the trios. It's called Confetti. One's like got an orange, one's got like a teal, one's got like a pinky red, um, and they are absolutely fabulous to play with. So because my focus is on these um, wow trio set. Um, I'm going to be using the dies that have more just a solid die. Just it gives you really good um, a really good look at the actual colors. Now one of the new releases for Wow Embossing Powder 2 is this Wow Embossing Refill and it's a freestyle tool as well so you can actually write with it um, and it's quite a versatile little tool as well as re-inking your Wow Embossing Slow Drying Ink Pad. So I've die cut the butterflies already. I die cut plenty, but I didn't need it. I only wanted three. Um, but I am going to off camera make some more of these. So what I'm going to do is first use this one here. This is the fizz. And you can see how awesome this mix is. It's got the actual fine granules of the color. I just poured it on there. That was a bit dramatic, I know. Um, but then you've got the white and silver ultra high mixed in that. So they're larger granules um, and it leaves quite an impactful effect on your embossing. So I have got my Wow Heat Tool. Now, because it's got the larger granules in there, I've, I'm only using the Speed 1. Still, the heat is not as effective, so I, it does take a little bit longer, but I didn't want the speed of the fan to blow away that ultra high. So that's why I'm showing you here that um, I used level or speed one on the Wow Embossing Heat Tool. It's a beautiful tool. Um, and just maneuvering it around just with my Spellbinders tool in one here. And I'm heat bossing on my um, glass mat because it's, it can be easily cleaned, I know. It's fantastic. Um, but you can see the white, the speckle of the white and silver, and it, it really heats like molten. It's beautiful. Doing the same for the second butterfly here. And this time I'm using a paper to protect my surface. So I'm just showing you different methods and ways you can do it. Um, what I do is I tend to use a scrap piece of paper to capture all of it um, and all the leftovers. So check this out. This color is absolutely magnificent. Like I know I'm always a bit partial to my teals, my aquas, and so is Marion um, from um, Wow Embossing, but come on, like this is just beautiful, isn't it? Now, as I flick some off, um, you, it tends to like move away and you can see that and I'm not I'm not going to cover it you can so you know another method is to also heat from behind um, and this is why I've captured um, and used the white paper here the copy paper is to help capture that and you can see that isn't it isn't it amazing so on to my third butterfly I know we're going through this really quick but it's the same thing we're doing three times it's just different colors of embossing powders now again, capturing it all, being generous with that port. This one's the pop. The other one was the bang. Sorry, I didn't mention that the teal was the bang. This one's the pop. Um, and it's got like this orange um, embossing powder embedded into it. It's beautiful. I know I'm very partial to it, but just amazing, isn't it? I skipped the heat process. I, this time I hit it from behind. I, I hit from behind. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, um, and look at it. Look, look, look. Just beautiful. All right. So 
Now, I could, I've got a white top folding card base here. Now, just to add a little bit more texture, subtle texture, I'm going to um, layer this and my sandwich is going to have the Spellbinders um, rubber mat because I'm just going to create my own impression like my own embossing folder. So putting the mat down, taping the stencil on the card front and placing this and then they're swilling that through my die cutting machine and check it out. A beautiful texture with the stencil. So it's a DIY embossing folder essentially. Isn't it great? All right, so now I'm going to place my butterflies and I'm just going to see what color and what way I'm going to do it. I actually don't think I put too much thought into it, but I'm going to pretend that I did. So um, I've got the stamp set from MFT and I'm going to put You Are Amazing. I forgot my sentiment. <laughs> You're going to see it in a second when I heat emboss it. All right, so I'm going to heat emboss on black cardstock with bright white opaque, super fine. And the reason why I'm using super fine is it's a sentiment and I really want to capture and be able to heat emboss a sentiment without it being molten. And I want to read the words so I can tell you what the sentiment says because it's a bit far from where I'm seeing. I'm not wearing my glasses at the moment. I should know since I made the card, but I don't. <laughs> all right so I've got this you are amazing remember that got it okay so I'm gonna heat set it with my heat tool I'm gonna to use speed two this time which is the normal speed to use um, since I'm not planning on using ultra high and blowing away any excess powder okay so using my spellbinders tool in one to kind of keep it into place since it's a thin strip and I didn't particularly want to hold it and heat setting that on my glass mat all right, there you go. See how detailed it is? That super fine embossing powder is perfect for detail. Um, well Embossing Powder also sell a, um, a range of their embossing powders in regular and super fine. So depending how much detail you want um, is how what you will order. So again, part of my video hop today, WOW has generously donated a $20 gift card for my video for those that comment. So comment away for your chance to win. Um, and that really finishes my card. I just really popped that up with some um, foam mount tape and some liquid glue in the middle there. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed today's quick card creation and um, you got to see the WOW trios in action. So thanks for watching. Please comment. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you. Um, and also for those that leave comments, we have tons of prizes to give away. Um, and please indicate if you are located in the US or international as well. So then um, we know what prizes you are going to um, win if you comment. So good luck. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit my the next video hop. That's the whole point of this hop. Um, and we look forward to hearing from you. So the links are all down below.